Hello and welcome to Tech Tips. This month we're going to dive into Google Calendar Task Mastery. With all of the things that we have going on in our lives, it's sometimes hard to remember the things on your personal calendar or on your work calendar. So I love this feature called Daily Schedule Email Reminder. I'm going to show you how to set this up. Again, go into your Google Calendar and you are either going to click on the gear icon or you can tap the S on your keyboard and that's going to take you into the settings of your Google Calendar. Click on the calendar that you want to select. You can see mine says Christine Danhoff on it. From there, I'm going to scroll down until I see this part that says daily agenda. Next to daily agenda, you're going to maybe see the option that says none. And if you want to get this daily email reminder, you're going to toggle that switch and change it from none to email. This means that every morning at around 5 a.m. ish, you are going to get an email in your Gmail inbox that will have all of the things for that day on your Google Calendar. Check it out. Let's take a look and see what it actually looks like in your Gmail inbox. In your Gmail inbox, you'll see a message that looks similar to the one that you see on the screen here. It will have all of the things that may be all day events or things that are spread out throughout the day. Awesome way for you to be able to be prepared for your day ahead. In order to be double prepared for all of the things going on in our lives, set those notifications or set them for people that you're inviting for meetings. Let's see how we set the notifications and what they look like when they come in. When creating a Google Calendar event, you want to click on more options so you get to the screen like you see on mine. From there, under the location area, you'll see the word notification, and I can add additional notifications. Notification just means that a message is going to pop up on my computer screen if I've allowed it to happen. I can set that for days, weeks, minutes ahead of the event, and even at a specific time. I like the email notification because that's going to put it right in my inbox, either two weeks out, a week out, a day before, 10 minutes before, whatever you want to set that for if you are inviting people to an event or to a meeting. When you add guests to that Google Calendar event that you saw on the last screen, you'll see here that they will get an email notification. The email notification allows them to decide if yes, they are going, are they going in a meeting or are they going virtually. They could also select no, maybe, or click a drop down and propose a new meeting time or add a note. Having these notifications and letting people know if you will be at that event are super helpful in preparation for planning. Google Calendar has some other great features such as tasks and focus time. This is a great way to organize and manage your time. Let's find out how to use it. From your Gmail inbox, if you open the tasks on the side, you can actually take a Gmail message and drag it over into your tasks. You can also select a message and click the little circle with the checkbox, which is the task icon, and it will be added to your calendar if it has a date or a time put to it. So check out this great way to organize things and check off then as you accomplish those tasks. In your Google Calendar, if there was a date and time assigned to that task, it will show up on your calendar. You can also add tasks directly from Google Calendar. Go ahead and double click to add an event, choose task, and then you can put in there if you want it to repeat numerous times, as well as putting a due date when you want to accomplish those by. Such a great way to organize and cross off and mark as completed as you get those things done. With all of these tasks and organization, you may need to schedule in your own focus time. So within Google Calendar, click More Insights, Schedule Focus Time, and go ahead and set that focus time for a particular day of the week or repeating month or year, whatever it is you want it to look like. It can automatically decline meetings that people send to you, or you can have it leave them a message of why you are not able to attend. This is a great way for you to block off time on your calendar so you don't feel overwhelmed. Try out these tips and tricks all about Google Calendar Mastery. Have fun and see what else you can learn.